Vegetation is very important when it comes to making a realistic render inside Blender because it is seen everywhere, meaning that you have to implement it in one way or another when making realistic looking environments, especially outdoor environments. Nowadays, there are many add-ons that can help you with adding any type of vegetation to Blender, but you have to be cautious when choosing an add-on to work with because some of them are great, but others are amazing. Currently, one of the best add-ons for vegetation in Blender is called Botanic, and let me tell you why. First of all, it is one of the most selling add-ons in the Blender market, which shows that many artists like the add-on. Secondly, it has an ever-expanding library of optimized and realistic 3D vegetation. It features a variety of trees, grass, flowers, weeds, and so on. Plus, many tools to help you add and control the assets as much as you can. For example, you can add animations, draw vines on surfaces, scatter the assets, and many, many other stuff. Recently, the Botanic add-on had its 6.8 update, and although it is just a small update, it came with many new assets and big changes. The first thing you notice with the update is the new category of assets, which is the Mediterranean Climate Assets, and it came packed with 15 new assets. These include trees, shrubs, and different types of grass, which can be found in the dry Mediterranean climates, such as North Africa, the Middle East, African savanna, and also American shrublands. So you can find some famous and long-awaited plants and trees, such as olive trees, sage brushes, and also umbrella thorn trees. Additionally, another thing that Botanic offers is direct integration with GeoScatter, which is one of the most important add-ons in Blender. So you will be able to create stunning biomes with just few clicks and without exiting the Botanic add-on, which is really great. This means that you can easily populate a large scene, and you can effortlessly create a massive forest, or even add a large landscape to make your scene look amazing. What's good about creating biomes with Botanic and GeoScatter is that you can add as many assets as you want without worrying about your computer being slowed down, which is one of the most important issues that a lot of people face. Another thing that you will notice about this update is that the material system has changed because it has been reworked and cleaned up completely. So now it will enable you to finally utilize the attribute system. You can also now easily make real-time modifications on linked assets, and botanic materials are not compiled with GeoScap. On a side note, a lot of unnecessary steps and buttons have been deleted. Therefore, it is now much more easier and faster to use the add-on with ease and achieve the results that you have in mind. If you guys are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. Guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of Blender and computer graphics in general. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.